What's going on, Cubs? It's your boy Barry here, coming to you guys with a brand new Red Dead video today. Uh, well, a little bit earlier this week, we got a trailer number two for Red Dead Redemption 2. It's coming out this October, so I thought, why not do a refresh on the game itself? This was one of my favorite games growing up, and I feel like it's just time that I played through this campaign again. And I'm actually so excited to do this for you guys. So if you guys like the content, make sure you guys drop a like down below and leave a comment. But let's get right into it. I like I like that kid's trousers. The mustaches were so thick when you can look at like thick ass mustaches. It was one of my first times doing a single player like commentary, so if I need to talk more, if I need to talk less, just tell me. And during the gameplay, I'll talk probably a lot more, but during the cutscenes, I want to tend to try not to talk in the moments where it seems like dialogue is important. I want you guys to feel fully immersed in the experience. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that the company <coughs> bringing civilization me, sorry about that. to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Yeah, this is so fucked up. Hey, in case anybody has it or didn't put it together, they're talking about, like, you know, taking the land from the Indians and such. It's uh, this whole conversation is fucking crazy. But I never noticed until like just now that Bonnie was on this train. See, there she is. There she is. No, no. Apparently, people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got. I wonder what she was doing outside of like the town. Or uh, what? Yeah, I forgot what it there. Her ranch. I forgot. I forgot what the name of the ranch is. But I wonder what she was doing this far out. Which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate. She would have had to be on the bus at Blackwater, right? Not or not bus, train. My bad. They came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Tom family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are dude. And who Bonnie and John look like they're so fed up with hearing this conversation. Who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes He's got a nice ass. I find it. it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. 
Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo. The start of our western journey. Let's do this shit, man. Really resist. Oh! Didn't say I was resisting the urge to shoot somebody. Wonder if that happened. Just beat the shit out of this guy real quick. This guy doesn't want to... Okay, I'm done with him now. You know, it wouldn't be Red Dead without a quick, you know, bar fight. It's always so loud in this throwing man. Oh, I skipped that part. My bad. Oh, dude, he still got his ass kicked out here. Hold up. Bitch! <laughs> I think this is the only time I can beat the shit out of him without uh, getting in trouble. I wonder. Okay, oh, okay, that's how you that's how you fuck the mission up. I was just curious on how much they were so beating his ass is perfectly acceptable. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. We get a playback of uh, the mission we fucked up. Or the cutscene. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. That dude is getting it on the piano. If you say so. I want to put on that Deadly Assassin outfit when I get a chance. I don't really know how I got that. If you guys know how you get the Deadly Assassin outfit, uh, leave it down in the comments below. Cause, uh, is that, I don't know if that's like a DLC I got uh, when I was playing this game when it came out or what. But I know I have the War Horse, but I don't think... I don't know I don't know if I want to use that or not. Not sure. Because, I mean, I don't think the War Horse runs out of stamina. So I don't think that would be fun. Or fair. Right. No, but I do want to get one of those legendary horses. And if you guys enjoy the series, I'll definitely do Undead Nightmare because I have that as well. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Now I don't think I've ever like completed the Undead Nightmare story. So wonder what crazy stuff they might do. I just thought it was completely outlandish that there would be zombies inside a inside a western like that. I think there would be room for that again at some point in time. I wouldn't mind like a like a western or even if a <coughs> excuse me, trying to get over my allergies and still make me cough. Anyways, uh, uh, I would love to see that in like maybe a Black Ops game, you know. Western map, Western weapons. I think that could be cool, you know. Or I mean, uh, its own on uh, zombie survival. I don't know if it should be in first person or third person. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixed. I'm also curious on if Red Dead Redemption 2 might have a battle royale game mode. That could be cool. Cream gravy they are. Not like thieves landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> yeah, so 
it was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Damn, John, you're gonna be a dick, buddy. Come on! Yeah, yeah! You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you better off not knowing. Waste of good meat. Almost there, Mr. Marson. Just over this hill. The sky is friggin' beautiful. Yeah. And the sun over there, dude. It's so nice looking. This game is still nice looking. Forever later. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Marson. Some gang rode in and took the place over. He's looking. He's curious. So I just... understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> well, once get her done. Come on. Come for you, Bill Williamson. Come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill. I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. Implores. I I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Uh. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. You hear the coyotes just ready to start trying to eat me. And there she is. There's Bonnie trying to save me. Like that's my thing. Is I don't know if she was if she was just then leaving. <coughs> excuse me, armadillo, and just rolled past. Or noticed that she had seen me on the train before. I don't know. Anyways, guys, that'll be the end of the first video. Because that's the end of the first mission. And I will see you guys next time. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.